So our first screen here in TM is where we're going to be learning how to navigate in order to search for our freight order. To do so, the first thing will be to click on the Freight Order Management tab here. This will display a set of hyperlinks that will allow you to either search for your freight order if you know this freight order number, which would be the last hyperlink here, display freight order, or if we do not know the freight order number but do have related documents as the MOU or forwarding order number, we would click on Overview Freight Orders, and this would lead us to a page with a number of search fields as we can see here and if we scroll to the bottom the actual results of our search would display below. So one of the first things we're going to learn in this video is how to perform a search by freight order number. Now again we can do so by clicking on the tab for freight order management and selecting simply display freight order this will load a separate page with just one single field where we can add our freight order number if we happen to know it. The freight order numbers will begin with 61, followed by zeros and the actual number of our freight order. And by clicking on continue, this will lead us directly to our freight order order, the one we're searching for individually. Now, in the case that we may not have our freight order but do have a forwarding order number or an MOU reference number, we would go to Overview Freight Orders. Once we click on the hyperlink, it will take us back to the page we were viewing previously where we have a set of fields. Again, the first field is our freight order number, so we could perform the same action as before in a different hyperlink. Now, the intention of this first part of the video is to show you that by clicking on Change Query, we will now prompt a set of new fields where we can add several data, in this case general data, document references, driver, and so on. If we scroll down, we can see that now the number of fields have duplicated. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, we will see under COE, again, this is the training environment, so some of the data may not be exactly the same as what we will see in production, but nevertheless, the actions will be the same. So under COE, we will be able to add the forwarding order number or the MOU reference number linked to troops. So in this specific case, we could either add our MOU reference number by simply writing the entire reference number and click on Apply to search for all the freight orders that may be linked to a specific MOU reference number, or you can do the same with the forwarding order number. In this case, we would simply have to write our forwarding order number and click on Apply. This should load now from the previous page all the freight orders that are linked to that specific forwarding order number. So in this particular case, we only have one result, one freight order that is linked to that forwarding order number. If we want to access our freight order number, we simply have to click on the number here. And this will load the new page now that will display our freight order number as we can see on screen now. At the top of our screen we can see exactly what this window is displaying. Display troops, air member, planned freight order for a scenario LOA and our freight order number. Usually the page will load showing you directly the execution tab or sometimes even the document flow tab. So something you have to keep in mind is that these tabs will allow you to view different types of data linked to this freight order. It could either be the document flow which will show you your freight order number at the top and the freight unit number and forwarding order number linked to that specific freight order. This document flow tab works for any of the types of documents. If you click on any of the below, for example, forwarding order number, this will load a new page now led by the forwarding order number here and under the document flow tab the same type of scenario but now led by the forwarding order number the freight unit will be there and the freight order as the one we were looking at before will be displayed below so that ends the first part of the video tutorial on how to search for a freight order using data which could be your forwarding order number or your mou reference number